You lose your train of thought mid-sentence. You stare at your phone and forget why you picked it up. You feel mentally dead by two o'clock every day. We call this brain fog, and it's become so normal that most of us just think it's part of life. And I thought the same thing. I spent 15 years in Silicon Valley working in big tech, and I couldn't remember what I said in meetings five minutes after I left them. I'd reread the same paragraph four times and so I have no idea what it said. But brain fog isn't laziness, stress, or aging. It's actually a warning sign that something inside your cells is broken. It's your brain's energy system breaking down. And unless you fix the root cause, no amount of productivity hacks are gonna save you. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix brain fog at the source. It's because most people think brain fog is about exhaustion, that it's a matter of not getting enough sleep, working too many hours, or just needing strong coffee to snap out of it. Now, all those might help, but those aren't the cause. It's become normal to feel mentally sluggish by 2 p.m. You lose track of conversations, you stare at your phone, and you just don't know why you even picked it up. You open the refrigerator, you don't know why you opened the door. And the dangerous part is how routine this has become. People don't question it. They just assume their brain is slowing down with age or stress, but that's a lie. Brain fog isn't a feeling. It's a biological breakdown happening inside your cells. Most people attack brain fog with low-grade coffee, naps, or apps that promise productivity, but none of those solve the root problem. And unless you fix the root, no amount of productivity hacks, nootropic supplements, or motivational speeches is going to help. Your neurons fire using electricity. The electricity comes from mitochondria, which are tiny little organelles that live inside your brain cells and turn the food you eat into usable energy. Your brain is the most energy-hungry organ you have. It burns through about 20% of your entire energy supply, despite being only 2% of your body weight. When mitochondria are working, you're sharp, quick, and creative. But when they slow down, your brain can't produce enough energy to sustain focus, memory, or even your mood. That's why if you want real lasting clarity, you don't need more stimulants. You need to fix your energy problems at the source. You need to restore your mitochondria. So how do you fix this? You start by giving your mitochondria what they need to thrive. Deep sleep, the right nutrients, and less of the environmental toxins that poison them. Your mitochondria respond to light. Morning sunlight triggers mitochondrial biogenesis, which is the creation of new healthy mitochondria. So within 30 minutes of waking, get outside for five or 10 minutes. No sunglasses, no glass windows, direct light to the skin and eyes, and don't stare at the sun. It primes your cellular engines for the entire day. And practice intermittent fasting some days. Nothing stresses your mitochondria more than constant eating. Every time you snack, your cells work over time to process, digest, and metabolize. By giving your body a break, a 14 or 16 or 18 hour fast, you trigger a process called mitophagy. Your body has a chance to clear out old, damaged mitochondria and make room for new ones. But supporting your mitochondria also means cutting out the food that damages them and adding in the fats and antioxidants they need to heal and grow. And that's exactly what most people do wrong. What you eat directly determines how well your brain works. Because it's not just what you fuel your mitochondria with, but it's what you also poison them with if you're not careful. The modern world is rigged against your brain's energy systems. Every single bite you take is either making your brain sharper or actively sabotaging it. There is no neutral here. It's fuel or it's poison. The kind of poison that quietly inflames your neurons and makes you mentally slower, emotionally unstable, and craving more junk. It's why you feel wired and anxious after a pastry or dead-eyed and numb after a fast food lunch. So your brain isn't fueled by calories, it's fueled by what those calories turn into. And most of the modern diet turns into one thing, inflammation. That's why processed grains, seed oils, refined sugars, and artificial sweeteners are sabotaging your brain. They flood your bloodstream with glucose, which your body tries to clear by releasing insulin. But when that insulin spikes over and over, it creates insulin resistance, where your body can no longer use glucose properly. And that can lead to cardiovascular problems, cancer, and Alzheimer's. After all, Alzheimer's is called type 3 diabetes because it's linked to glucose dysfunction in the brain. And most of what food companies are marketing as healthy is quietly doing the same thing. Low-fat yogurts, protein bars, and heart-healthy cereals are loaded with sugars. They contain chemical thickeners and oxidized oils that directly harm your neurons. So how do you stop this and turn your food into brain fuel? Well, you ditch the big four brain poisons. Refined sugar, industrial seed oils, processed grains, and artificial sweeteners. 
cutting these alone can get rid of a lot of your brain fog within days. Then you just replace them with high octane brain foods. What you do eat matters just as much. Prioritize foods like pasture-raised eggs, grass-fed beef and liver, organic blueberries, and healthy fats like grass-fed butter, MCT oil, and some extra virgin olive oil. But even with perfect fuel, your brain can still stay foggy. Because there's one more thing that's either building your mitochondria or destroying them every single day. When people feel mentally sluggish, the standard advice is get some exercise. And sure, movement matters. But more exercise isn't always better. In fact, the wrong kind of movement can actually make brain fog worse. Too much cardio can raise cortisol, wreck your sleep, and drain your mitochondria even further. I know, because I did it. I dragged myself to high-intensity workouts, thinking it would clear my head, only to get more exhausted and foggier. In fact, I did this for 18 months straight, six days a week. So the problem isn't exercise. It's the way modern culture uses exercise like punishment. Endless cardio, 5 a.m. boot camps, pushing yourself to the extreme. The sweet spot is movement that stimulates. You want to increase blood flow and mitochondrial biogenesis without spiking inflammation or cortisol. That's why the best thing to do, if you're not going to go to the gym, is go for a walk first thing in the morning. Even five to 10 minutes outside kickstarts your brain's energy systems. It also anchors your circadian rhythm, which controls everything from hormone production to cognition to sleep that night. You also want to stack movement into your workday. Every hour, stand up and move for even two to three minutes. Think simple movements. You could do air squats, a short hallway walk, and stretching. It breaks up periods of sitting too long and improves blood flow to your brain. And replace long cardio workouts with rehit, reduced exertion, high intensity training. It's just two short bursts of all out effort for around 20 seconds each with rest in between. You do this three times a week. This works better in a gym or at an upgrade labs. You wanna get on a bike, either an AI bike or an assault bike, something that lets you have a lot of resistance and you go really slow to the point it's boring for a little while. Then you sprint as hard as you can for 20 seconds, rest for three minutes, then sprint as hard as you can for 20 seconds again. You do that twice and you're done. The entire workout takes about five minutes and builds new mitochondria without the stress and fatigue of long cardio sessions. And if that sounds too good to be true, there are now three university studies showing that ReHit provides better improvements in VO2 max which is basically how cardiorespiratory fit you are, than doing an hour-long workout. If you're near an Upgrade Labs location, you can get a real deal on our AI adaptive bike. But you could nail the diet and movement perfectly and still feel foggy. Because there's a third piece that most people miss entirely. Even when you're fueling your mitochondria with the right foods and stimulating them with smart movement, your brain might still be starving. Our ancestors thrived on nutrient-dense organ meats, wild-caught fish, and some mineral-rich plants. But during World War II, the military had a problem. They needed food that could survive months in combat zones without spoiling. So scientists figured out how to strip foods of everything that could rot, which happened to be everything nutritious. After the war ended, these same preservation techniques didn't disappear. Food companies realized they could use military ration technology to create products with massive profit margins and endless shelf life. In the 1960s, we began engineering foods in labs instead of growing them in soil. The result? We're essentially eating dressed up military rations every day. Meanwhile, your brain needs over 40 specific nutrients to function optimally. Miss just a few and your mental performance crashes like a phone with a dying battery. Because when it can't get the precise compounds it needs, your brain starts breaking down its own neurotransmitter pathways to scavenge nutrients. Your brain literally starts eating itself, creating that foggy, sluggish feeling you can't shake. But the good news is once you understand which specific nutrients your brain is starving for, you can target them correctly. Instead of hoping your depleted food will somehow provide what's missing, you can give your brain exactly what it needs. So your brain isn't foggy because it's weak, it's foggy because it's undernourished. To support your diet, you can also take certain supplements to power your neurons and your mitochondria for better brain function. In fact, I wrote a New York Times science bestseller about how to do that. And here are the four best ingredients I've found to reverse brain fog. Ginkgo, L-alpha GPC, phosphatidylserine, and citicoline. Most people never get enough of these, and that's a big reason they feel mentally off. That's why I created Brain 101, to give your brain exactly what it needs to feel sharp, focused, and alive again. Most people never get enough of these nutrients, and that's a big reason they feel mentally off. Brain fog steals more than just your focus. 
It steals your confidence, your creativity, and your ability to show up as your best self. But when you fix your brain's energy system, everything changes. You don't just think clearer, you live clearer. You make better decisions, build stronger relationships, and you finally feel like yourself again. That's the real power of a brain that works.